if you study well, you will get a good form. Then one of my teachers in the last session, before our third standard examination, innocently, one of my friends shouted from behind, that we know, madam, Hello, those masters at this English field. The fact unknown is how to study well amid fear of failure. Generally put, how to amuse our mind so that we can engage the body to act, its agent to act, the act and put the desired act. When the ghostly eyes of failure is staring on. In the year 1306, Robert Bruce sat shivering and hungry in a lonely hut on an Irish island. He had lost six battles against the English king, King Edward I. In the corner of the hut, he saw a small spider busily at work making her bed. The spider was trying to attach a scratch to a wooden rafter. Again and again, a blustery wind would sneak through the cracks of the hut and shake the thread loose. The king watched and said, My dear friend, you have lost six, six times like me. Why don't you give up? The spider did not seem to listen. Patiently, a seventh time, she spun a thread through into the rafter, and this time, it fell. My own humble apologies, said Edward Bruce. But when he said his apologies, his face was beaming with confidence and enthusiasm. He stood up from there, went back to Scotland, gathered his men, and eventually won the war against the English. Let us rewind the story a little back. When the king was sitting shattered in the hut, can you imagine the situation that somebody would have grown and told the king, hey, if you fight well, you will win the war? Definitely, the king would have started a battle, not with the English, but with the person who went and told so. But in reality, the king had the spider as his model. An encouraging, an inspiring model, which from there he could derive the enthusiasm, the inspiration to move from failure to success. The king did not appeal the same thing as the spider did. He did not go and go and do with that. He stayed up and went and did a greater thing. He went and won the war against the English. So it is a scale up more modern. But all the modeling need not be in this fashion. Consider a case when an elder brother gets a first prize by modeling his elder brother. The same thing, the exact replica. Now consider another case where a man has ever not been at the form of his president that is modern. And he may be inspired to become the, to become the Punjabi president in Karnataka. That is a scale down version of modeling. We are setting a model of greater level, but achieving a smaller task. But very well, of course, great things in the army. I mean, to the world. So, what from where we achieve this inspiration does not matter as long as we get that instantaneous spark of inspiration. But if we don't get that instantaneous spark of inspiration, what do we do? Do we sit idle till we get that inspiration? We need not do that. What we can do is, we can select an appropriate model that we admire and give positive suggestion to our mind so that we get that instantaneous spark somehow. But when we give suggestion to our mind, we need to think upon certain aspects. Suppose, let us imagine somebody wants to be more patriotic and he may opt Bhagat Singh as his model and he may give a suggestion like this. Oh my God! He had to sacrifice everything he had. And then finally he had to bear the pain of the carriage as well. If he gives a position like this, he may not be that motivated. 
But in the same instance, his paraphrase as he sacrificed everything for the country, and the result of that sacrifice, we are freedom today. That person is most proud to be most patriotic. So, it is quite true that even among failures, we will have the scope to move to success when we have a model, an inspiring model to follow. So, when the catastrophe is looking beyond, is looking at you, you should have that model. When some failures are seeing you, you will be thinking, if there ever was a time to give up, now is it. Now with this modeling technique, you can start to think, if there ever was a time to try once again, this is the time. Now is the time for you to start.